friends, I am greeting you. Today I will present to you the first uniform worn by the French Foreign Legion in 1831. As you know better than I do, the French Foreign Legion has been created in 1831. And the uniform is the same uniform, the origin uniform from, from the French Army Infantry, model 1822. So, what you can see here is kind of grenadier. And a grenadier was a French Foreign Legion elite soldier. And this photo comes from 1832. It was painted from the painter Eugenie Ponomarev, a former legionnaire. And the time is about 1832 during the conquest of Algeria. And the tenue is the tenue d'inspection, what means his parade uniform. So on this cliche you can see what they called a voltigeur. So it's not a grenadier, it's a voltigeur. You can see it from the back. And a voltigeur, it was light infantry. And the light infantry of the French Foreign Legion, there was Napoleon's elite troop. This head is called the Chaco. Uh, in the beginning it was uh, leather. And then they do it with a kind of paper, you know, carton, carton, right? On the top of the chaco, you can see a pompon. And in the pompon, within the pompon, you can see a number. One, two, three, four. And this is the insignia of the regiment, the number of your regiment. First regiment, second regiment, and so on. And in the middle of the chaco, you can see a copper plaque. And in the copper plaque, you can see the coq francaise. A coq francaise, this is the rooster. The French rooster. Very important to the French army. So, and this is the jacket. The French call it l'habit. And this is the main part of a uniform. You can see the colors blue. It's from the royal blue, uh, from uh, the king's family. And the edges are red. And the buttons, you see the buttons on the front. On each button, they are on, on gold, you know. On each button, you can read Légion étrangère. So here you can see the normal jacket without edges. It's the same color is blue without the red edges. And uh, on the blue jacket here you can find also the yellow buttons with inscription Légion étrangère. And the same buttons you can find on the gray coat. You can see on the next cliche. The coat was here to protect you against the coldness in Algeria. Because in the high mountains in Algeria, even if it's in Africa, it was very cold. So these are the trousers. Yeah? You can find them sometimes on red and sometimes on white. Depends on the painter. The painter, we had two main painters in the French Foreign Legion uh, when it comes to history. First one is Benini yeah? and the second is Ponomarev. And uh, whether it's the first one or the second one, the trousers are red or white. And in reality, they have been sometimes red and sometimes white. <laughs> right. So Gaston, very sorry, but I took your head. <laughs> I steal your head. So uh, what you can see here is the pocket. You know, the nice pocket with the white belt is the banderole de Giberne. In this banderole de Giberne, you can find the holster, the tree for the bayonet and of course the ammunition. So everything the legionnaire could not carry directly with him on his body, he put in the rucksack or in the tonista. And the tonista was named Le Havre Sac. On the top of the Havre Sac, you can see the coat and the coat. It was wrapped in a blanket. The blanket had the color white and blue. So we are almost done. We are coming now to the weapon in use in 1832. But... No speech from my side, just have a look and you will understand. Thank you, French of the French for Legion, for your time you're giving to me. Amitié, légionnaire, yours, Thomas Gast. Allons, girons, best en pantalon.